story time, story time, it's time to read a book. Sitting down and listening, that's what we'll be doing too. All right, boys and girls, today I got my glasses on so that I can read a story to you. And guess what? I want to ask you something. Do you remember how we listen to a story? Oh, I do, I do. You do, Pepita? Oh, can you remember? Uh, can you remind some of the children how do we listen to stories? Of course. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, boys is quiet, my body's calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen during story time, during story time. Oh, I love stories. Me too, Pepita, and today we have a wonderful story about our workers in the community. There are some people that work with heavy machines out there and you see them sometimes when you're driving with your parents, isn't it? Well, let me show you a little story about our friends. This is called Mumbling Building Bugs. Let me put on my glasses now. Are you ready for it? Wow, I can see my friend Tanya and Citlali Aria. I can see Kevin and Fatima, Robert. Oh, Bianca and Heidi, I see all my boys and girls, and Andrew and Abraham. Are you ready for story time today? I'm ready for story time too. Let's see if my friend Andy remembers what to do when we read a story in Emmanuel. Let's see, this is called Mumbling Building Bugs. Wait a minute, what does mumbling mean? I don't understand, look at my face. Can you read my face? I look what confused. Yes, and bumbling, that's what it means. It means they are confused. They don't know what to do. Let's see why are they confused. All right, ready? So, Bumbling Building Bugs by Viviana Garofoli. Who's Viviana Garofoli? She is the, everybody, pretend that you're writing. Say the author or the writer. That's the person who thought of this beautiful story. How creative. Let's see, ready? Let's get started. Remember, let's turn the front page with the title of the book on the, on the top. And let's see if we can get started. Who remembers this word? Yes, very good. I see Ivan and Ella remember the word. Diana is telling me it says bumbling, building bugs. That's right. Angela is going to remember who the author is. I know. Yes, yes, Angela. It's Viviana Garofoli. That's right. Let's get started. So this story, it's a really big book. It starts here. Let me move this a little bit to the side where you can see it better. The bumbling building bugs are here. We sing our happy song. <gasps> they have a, a happy song? I love happy songs. How about you, my friends? <gasps> Mia, do you like happy songs? Esteban, let's read their happy song. With trucks and tools, we build a road. We bum, bum, bumble along. Ah, I like it. Let's try it. Ready? <gasps> With trucks and tools, we build a road. We bum, 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 bubble along. Ah, I like it. I like it. All right, let's turn the page. Let's go ahead. I'm going to fold the page in, and I'm going to show you this one that says... Centipede drives the bulldozer to clear the stones away. Oh, I'm sure you have seen the bulldozers, boys and girls. They make a sound like this. Do you hear it? Oh, look. What did they do? Yes, the bulldozer clears the stones away. Let's do a bulldozer with our hands. Ready? Like this. Now pick up the rocks. Pick them up and drop them. Good job. Excellent. Let's turn the page now. <gasps> then Beetle in the big dump truck dumps gravel in the day all day long. That's what it means. Whoa, look 
Look at that. This big machine, it's called a dumping truck. I wonder why. Let's make a dumping truck with our hands again. Ready? Like this. Ready? Pick everything up and drop it now. Great job. Let's keep going. Santi P drives the bulldozer to clear the stones away. We read that already. And now remember this one, the dump truck. Don't forget those names, okay? Let's keep going. Oh, I can hear the sounds, how they work so hard in this. This one's called the Rolly Polis Roller Rolls to pack the gravel flat. Wow, hear the sound that it makes. Wow, I think he flattens it up. And look who's driving it, Santi Pete. Are you sure about that? Is that a fact or fantasy? That is fantasy. Yes, that means that is not real, boys and girls. The only thing that is real here is the roller rolls. Very good. Ready? Keep going. We love to watch each other work. This part is done and that's that. Oh, here we go. They finished their work in here. Wow, they look so happy because they are finished. I think they have a proud face. Yes, I finish. Yes, that's a good feeling, boys and girls, when you finish something and you did it right, isn't it? Now let's take a look at here. It says, oh no, oh my, for goodness sake, our road cannot go here. What are they going to do, boys and girls? Oh no, what's happening? What is happening? Oh jeez, let's see. Let's see what they're going to figure out. We have a major problem now. We have a major problem. What's the problem? What can we do? Oh dear, what are we going to do? They're mumbling right now. Oh yes, they're mumbling. Remember that means confused. Let's keep going and see what they're going to do. Start thinking, what do you think they should do, boys and girls? Let's build the bridge across the stream. It doesn't look too wide. Hmm, is that a good idea, boys and girls? Let's see, Cassidy, what can you tell me? Michael, what do you say? <gasps> Let's see if Noel has the right answer. This stick will make a perfect bridge to reach the other side. Oh, let's see. Hmm, this is interesting. Do you find sticks around your house? Yeah, maybe you can try to see what they're doing and figure it out. Whoa, 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 this is a really big page. <gasps> this is, says, we know we'll make this work somehow. Let's reach and stretch and try. <gasps> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, they are trying their best, boys and girls. Our sticks won't reach across the stream. Why won't it reach? Why, why, boys and girls, do you see it here? It's not able to reach. Oh, right there, that's the problem. Hmm, let's find out what we can do. Hmm, what do you think? Start thinking of different ways that they can do. <gasps> oh no, what happened here? <gasps> oh, then Spider said, I'll help you out. It truly is my pleasure to figure out the length of things. You really have to measure. Oh, she's a smart little spider. Do you see her? She's talking to everyone. Mm, I wonder what she's going to do. She is a very smart spider, I can tell. Let's see what she's going to decide to do. Boy, I'll make this stick with my feet. And I think it's eight feet long eight feet long. Let's find out if she is correct. One, two, I can't hear you, Jacob. Three, Ileana. 
four, Kaylee. Arlette, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Very good, Arlette. Eight legs, eight feet long. Hmm, let's find out if that's correct. Then Beetle said, I'll disagree. I think it's six feet long. Why is he saying six feet long? That's right. Beetles only have six legs. And in, and those who have six legs, you can call them insects. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. I knew you could count up to six, my preschoolers. Very good, my cheese pitas. Whoa! Whoa, 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 what is this centipede saying? The centipede looked down and said, I fear you both are wrong, my friends, for when I try to make it, I think it's 100 feet long. 100 feet long? Why is he saying that? Yes, centipedes are known for having 100 feet. Oh, goodness. Can you imagine having 100 feet, boys and girls? Oh, that would be exhausting to put on shoes. And then take them off. Taking them off. Our measuring is all mixed up. The spider then replied, what is she thinking now? Oh, she's looking like she's going to make a phone call. Who is she going to call? Let's call the inchworm. He can help. His skill can't be denied. Hmm. His skill cannot be denied. Whoa, what does that mean? <gasps> mm -hmm, that's right. No one can say no to that. Well, everybody's working really, really hard, boys and girls. Let's see. Then Inchworm show up right away. He thought us it's a cinch. A cinch? Whoa, what does that mean? Uh, it means it's so easy, just like a piece of cake. <laughs> we had to measure lots of sticks. We measured inch by inch. Do you want to see a real Inchworm? Let me show you. This is a real inchworm, boys and girls. And in fact, they do measure one inch. There you go. Remember, you've been working with rulers and different types of measuring tools. This is the most, most accurate. We had to measure lots of sticks. We measure inch by inch. Oh, so if everybody gets the same amount, then that will be correct, isn't it? That's right. Let's see what happens next. 12 inches make one standard foot. The inchworm said that day. <gasps> Ooh, is that true? So your foot, if you measure it, or your daddy's foot might be 12. One standard foot is 12 inches. That means 12 inchworms. <gasps> so stick by stick, we build the bridge, measuring all the way. Wow, that is a great idea. So now all the sticks are the same height and same length. <gasps> Let's see, are you ready to see what happens when everybody works as a team? Let's see, whoa! With inchworms help and measuring, we build the mighty bridge. The grandest bridge in all the land, in buggy land. That's it. And that's the end, boys and girls. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see what happens at the end. Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh, the truck's. All the heavy machines are going right through it. I can see all of them in there. How about you, boys and girls? All right, my chispitas. I have to say, I'll see you next time. And parents, when you work with your chispitas and your students, don't forget you can give them different types of scenarios and see if they can figure it out. 
That's how they learn math concepts, scientific concepts, and other, other concepts such as reading and writing and language. Just by playing, that's how children learn, not by studying cards all day long. Next time, boys and girls, I'll see you, my cheese pitas. Bye-bye.